Sup guys, thank you first and foremost for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is proudly sponsored by these guys, Headspace. Headspace has one mission, to improve the health and happiness of the world. With millions of users in over 190 countries, they're well on the way to doing that. Originally created by an academic who decided to cut short a sports science degree to become a monk. He went on a journey lasting 10 years, traveling through Nepal, India, Russia, Thailand, Burma, and Australia, before returning to the UK with a mission to share what he had learnt with as many people as possible. And if we look back in history, that does ring a bell. From the academic classrooms in the UK, all over the world, and back again, Headspace was first just an idea, then a small meditation consultancy to an events company, and through an epic business partnership between a monk and a tech whiz, we now have the app called Headspace. So guys, by all means, head down into the description box below, check out Headspace for free, join me and millions of other people around the world experiencing a greater sense of mental health and mental well-being through the use of Headspace. You owe it to yourself and you owe it to everyone around you to take some time and look after your mental health. Thanks for watching guys and enjoy the video. What's up guys? How are we? And welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Jacob McDonald and it's my absolute pleasure to introduce you to the top 20 of this particular list of NFL players. It's the NFL's top 100 players of 2021 and I'm reacting to it as a rugby player. 25 years experience, running back is my favourite position in the world of American football because, because it's the closest in, in play style to the position that I played in the game of rugby which was fullback. So with that in mind, we're looking at a running back today, his name's Delvin Cook, he's been on the list before, he'll be on it again, he's, a, he's pretty damn effective but he does go under the radar, for me, probably because I'm just simply not a fan really of the Minnesota Vikings, I haven't watched too much of their play, I haven't watched too many of their games. Uh, look, I'd be hard pressed to, to name, you know, three or four players on the team. But there is one thing I recognize and one thing I enjoy, and that's the team colors. So today, we're representing East Carolina, the old Pirates. But the only reason we're doing that is to represent, in the only way I know how, uh, the Vikings, as far as colors are concerned. As far as a running back is concerned, we've got a real representative, Jared Hayne. The reason why I took an interest in the NFL. 2015, Jared Hayne landed in San Francisco, took the world by storm. Only played one season, unfortunately, but it did pique my interest. And it got me interested in not only the NFL as a whole, but also the position of running back. Because I saw this guy take his skills from the world of rugby into the NFL and succeed. And so for any rugby players out there, you know, watching my videos, thinking about making the switch, doesn't matter whether you're an amateur level, possibly even looking at going into the professional level of either sport. Give it a go. You never know what might happen. Doors open with this sport. And I'm still waiting for a couple of those doors to be open for me. But this video is not about me, it's about Delvin Cook. I'm going to roll the intro and let's get into it. Will Delvin Cook be the top running back? No, he can't be. We've still got Derek Henry. McCaffrey's been. Barkley's not going to be in it. Josh Jacobs? No, I'm pretty sure we've seen him. Playoff Lenny? Could well be in there, but I doubt it. Ezekiel Elliott? Going to be interesting. And when you get into the top 20, doesn't matter what year you're reacting to, it's full of superstars. Let's get into it. Hey, it's the heavyweight fight tonight! That is what you want your running back to say. As a heavyweight boxing fan for almost 20 years myself, there's nothing more I'd want my running back to say before going into battle than this is a heavyweight fight. It's that heavyweight fight! Let's go! Let's go! Look at him, rounding up his, uh, his lineman. Saying, let's go. This is a heavyweight fight, guys. Come on, boys. You're the heavyweights. I'm the light heavyweight. And together, we can make daylight. Start throwing them blues! Start throwing them blues! Only Are we going to have to use the subtitles again? Start throwing them blues! Only a heavyweight fight! Start throwing them blues! Start throwing them blues! Only Come on! <laughs> okay. Even YouTube couldn't work it out. Start throwing them 
Start throwing them bombs. Start throwing them, throwing them overhand rights. Let's listen one more time. Start throwing them bombs. It's got to have something to do with the heavyweight fight, surely. Boy, fight. Let's go. Start throwing them blows. Start throwing them blows. Start throwing them blows, only. Mm -hmm. And if you throw too many blows, you know what happens, right? The guy gets knocked out. And in the world of NFL, the defender stops wanting to tackle. Once he breaks the pocket, once he breaks the tackle box and he gets out in space, he's probably the most explosive back in the league. This is acceleration. That's why the Vikings gave him $65 million. He is a threat to go the distance from anywhere on the field. It's practically the definition of baller brilliance. Taking what you want when you want it and daring anyone to do anything about it. Everybody knew he was coming, and yet the Titans couldn't stop him. Being able to lower his shoulder in the hole, and then, you know, when a linebacker, anybody trying to come up and try to, you know, make a tackle, being able to make the miss and use his acceleration to separate from everybody else to get into the end zone. So he's basically the NFL version of Muhammad Ali. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. A man can't hit what a man can't see. Is that the quote? Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. His hands can't hit what his hands can't see. And that's Dalvin Cook, isn't it? With Dalvin Cook, his size, people don't expect him to have the amount of power that he has when he runs. He's just stiff arm. What is he, 5'10"? Let's look him up. Now, to me... A couple of years ago, 5'10 would have been short for a running back, but it's pretty much ideal. As long as you're, you know, 200 pounds or over, you're going to be pretty effective. But then you've got guys like Christian McCaffrey. He's 5'10, he weighs 210, he got picked up in the fourth, he got picked up in the second round of the 2017 draft to the Vikings. He's made two Pro Bowls in the two last years. And look, if there is one thing I have noticed here, he played a dual role at the Florida State Seminoles, uh, rushing for 4,464 yards and catching for 935 yards for a total of 5,399 all-purpose yards and 48 touchdowns. He ran for over 1,000 yards in each of his three seasons, 1,008, 1,691, and 1,765. So to think that he's come into the league and been successful at the very least, but not only that, you know, built himself up year after year after year going from you know 354 rushing yards in 2017 to 615 in 2018 to 1135 in 2019 to 1557 rushing yards last year and 16 rushing touchdowns this man is coming into his own he's 26 he's just signed his second deal as we heard with 63 million and the man is absolute dynamite out there in four seasons in the NFL, and this includes his rookie season where he only played four games, and his second season where he only played 11. So put those together, that's 15. So let's call that one season worth, right? So let's say, just for the hell of it, he's played three seasons, and when you think, in the equivalent amount of games of three seasons in the league, he's already scored 3,661 rushing yards, 33 rushing touchdowns, 1,275 receiving yards, three receiving touchdowns. So he's got almost 5,000 all-purpose yards, he's got almost 40 touchdowns, and he's only been in the league for the equivalent of three seasons. He's got a 40-yard dash of under 4.5 seconds, a vertical jump and a broad jump, which is relatively average, and a bench press effort of 22 reps. And now, my friends, it's time to continue the video. Vernon Hargraves rejected him about a yard. I mean, just shoved him back, which gave him enough room to get into the end zone. He's fighting. Hey, this is a man's game. <laughs> Bet I'll put you on the dirt. You ain't lifting enough weight. He's not easy to bring down either. He's another one of those running backs, like, like the first guy usually is not going to attack you. He can truck you. He can make you miss. He can make you look silly. Kind of like Alvin Kamara. Would that be right? Two Chicago Bears missed him. I'm setting him up right now, though. Usually for the kill. Touchdown! Galvin, touchdown, yes! Yeah, I'll, I'll be keen to watch a Vikings game or two this year. Which 16 rushing touchdowns led the NFC, a fact not lost on any Packer of any vintage. He's lights out, man, when he, when he has the ball in his hands. And that's coming from a Packers linebacker, Z Smith. Whoa! 
out through the hole to the end zone for the touchdown. Boy, he's quick. Handed to Dalvin Cook. Get Who's nine, that? Brett Five. Six. Ten yards a pop. Very impressive. Kid's a good running back. Wow. He should have had him right there. Right there. Right there. I appreciate you breaking that down, Fav, but we're going to have to watch it again. Very impressive. Kid's a good running back. Wow. He should have had him right there. Right there. Right there. And there. Are you kidding me? That guy is, he's MVP today. Cook was no one day wonder. He was second in the NFL in yards from scrimmage in 2020. It's also his second year on the list. And he is up a spot. One of only three running backs to crack the top 20. Okay, three, one of only three running backs in the top 20. And what are we going to see here? A spike for the ages? No, nope, just to throw into the wall. You're a good player, man. I like your game. Buda Baker gets a spot in the top 20. He was number 99 last year. Was it 99 or 96? Whatever the case, this man deserves a congratulations. But we're going to have to wait for that because for now, this video is over. But let's just think. Three more running backs. I know who one of them is. It's Derek Henry. Who is the other running back in the top 20? Is it the Packers running back? Who on earth could it be? Let me run through the teams. Actually, I think I just mentioned him. I think I just answered my own question. Alvin Kamara. That's it. Has to be. He scored six touchdowns in one game last year. So if nothing else, it'll be good to hear about that. If he is in the top 20, I think he is. He's got to be. Anyways, as always, if you have enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers, guys, and have a great night.